When I started working on Still Ridge, I had only a few bad games under my belt. I've basically been using the same character model for four years, and it's time for an upgrade. I believe the best path for self-learning is to study the Masters, and there are a few better Masters on the PlayStation hardware than Capcom. I downloaded a model of Leon and Rick, who are the closest to my character's body types. These old character models were segmented because there wasn't enough vertices to create believable bending at the joints, and already I have ideas on how to improve the overall silhouette of my own model, which uses segmented limbs. First off, I address the N-Gons in the room. While modern engines convert N-Gons and quads into triangles during render, uh, from a modeling standpoint, they're messy and lead to funny unwrapping. Next, I add a loop cut around the outside of the character so I can add some definition. I see this a lot in amateur low poly work, and while this boxy approach is serviceable, I find it leads to characters looking like Minecraft Steve than realistic humans. I do the same for the waist and add an additional loop cut so I can make a little booty. No pancake butts on my characters. Everybody needs a little donk. For the limbs, my ideal cylinder in a low poly style is six-sided which lets me unwrap with two faces in the front, two faces in the back, and two faces on the inside and outside. I pull the ends of the cylinders out a little to better hide the seams and the joints. I already fixed up the hands and feet in the previous video, so I don't need to do those. Lastly, I remodel the face. A good low poly face is a difficult thing to model because it's a little like pixel art. The lower the definition, the more a minor change can influence the entire look. I find it's helpful to approach low poly modeling like you're drawing guidelines for a cartoon character. I use a loop cut to define the temples and the tops and bottoms of the forehead, the top of the nose, which serves as the guide for the eyes, the bottom of the nose, and a loop which acts as the middle of the lips and adds definition to the chin. I cut in some triangles so I can better define the silhouette of the nose, and the eyes which I can adjust a little bit for more definition on the cheekbones. Bring the mandibles up, pull the skull back a little, the ears are a separate part, little more than squashed rectangles. I apply similar techniques to a new character I'm crafting here, the cashier at the gas station named Wilhelmina. Before, the only other woman character was Amani, who wore loose clothing, and I needed a model that looked a bit shapelier. I used Claire from Resident Evil 2 as a reference, adding a few extra loop cuts to define the chest and softening the shoulders. Claire's hips are more complex than Leon's, and Capcom knows it's up with the booty, so I model it closer to Claire's, which requires a bit more definition in the areas that count. This is the first character I've done that's largely hand-painted instead of mostly photo-bashed. My initial reference was a mix of Season 1 Meadow Soprano and Velma, sort of a mousy woman in appearance with a commanding physical presence. I reference some photos of the actress and paint in the details with a soft brush. The clothing details are hand painted with a light noise filter for texture. I really need to study proper clothing painting one of these days, but for an off the cuff art session everything's looking pretty good. I add some piercings to punch up the visuals a bit, but things don't really land until I create some thick glasses and an eye patch. I'm a strong believer in really pushing a character design to the extreme with a noticeable visual quirk, and this James Joyce-ass eye patch adds a level of quirkiness and mystery behind her pixie-like smile. I still haven't landed on a more efficient manner of texturing. One of these days I'm going to really refine my texture sheet and do some good old-fashioned square UVing, but I'll save that for another day and another character. <laughs> 